Okay, we're in the next video. We're going to do the bonus CKGs for this session for Crash 2017. Let's look through them. Okay, what is this get? This mess. All right, what is the rate? Well, the rate's probably something fast. What's the rhythm? I don't know. Are there any P waves? Are there not any P waves? Is there a QRS? Where is it starting from? Maybe somewhere in the ventricle. Okay. Axis, it's tough to say because this is just a hot mess here. What's going on? This you should recognize. This is something called hyperkalemia. It is lethal. And you, can, you should look at the CKG and immediately recognize it and immediately treat it. Let me talk, talk you through it, though. Okay? When the potassium in a patient is high, you take what is the normal QRS, and the first thing that happens is you get this peaked T wave like that. And look, if you see, look at these T waves here. These are pretty peaked here, right? Okay. The next thing that happens is the QRS widens as the T wave gets um, uh, w peaked. And so here you can see this wide QRS. We got that. All right. And then eventually you lose the P waves, and then you get something that looks kind of like a sine wave. And they call it a sinusoidal wave. Not sine like sinus node, sine wave like you remember cosine and sine in, from trigonometry, that kind of sine wave. And so this is hyperkalemia. And you should recognize it because it's rapidly deadly and it's something you want to treat. Next TKG. Okay. Uh, Rate, rhythm, axis, you're going to do all that. But actually, we're going to talk about rhythm. All right. What's going on in this one is, this, where is the signal starting? The signal is starting from a different spot. It's starting from a pacemaker. Okay. You can see the QRS is wide here, so you know that it is starting uh, in the ventricle somewhere, right? Because we know a, Q, a wide QRS means it is go not using the fast bundle here. Uh, otherwise, we'd have a narrow QRS. Uh, and so it's starting in the ventricles. And then you see this big spike here, right? That spike is characteristic of the pacemaker shooting a little electricity in there, zap, and then it starts depolarizing everything. So that spike, wide QRS, is indicative of a ventricular pacemaker. And so that's what we have, a paced rhythm. Now, what ends up happening with this is it kind of hides everything else. It's hard to read anything um, when you have, someone has a ventricular pacemaker. All you can pretty much say is that it is paced, right? Okay, let's see what, if there's another EKG here. There is. All right, so we're going to go through this one now. Uh, and this one, rate, rhythm, axis, you're going to do that. See, the rate was uh, a little less than 75, so I said it was 70. The rhythm is sinus. The axis was normal. Okay, again, we're going to look for ST elevations now in these zones. And you can see that uh, here we have a little bit of ST elevation here, a little ST elevation here, a little bit of ST elevation here, right? So we have this anteroseptal. ST elevation MI, all right? And you can see the T waves are also inverted, right? Here, 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 here. So you could say anteroseptal and lateral T wave inversions. Inversions, right? And so that's what we have here. This is another STEMI, ST elevation MI. And what kind? Anteroseptal. I know I went through these very super duper fast, uh, but I wanted to, to, to go through them. You can Go th look at these in greater detail. I'm supplying you with the PDF with all of this stuff on it. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me. And uh, good luck. Bye.